My name is Henry Tenby. Welcome to Model Moment. As some of you watched our very first series, you'll be aware that this is going to be an ongoing series about a quick moment visit with favorite models of mine in my collection. So you're going to be able to watch this first series, which is going to run another 10 episodes. Tune in and watch us live on YouTube every single Saturday for the next 10 weeks at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So you're gonna be able to set your schedules to come and join us. I'll be there on the video in the chat on the right side where you can ask me questions live as the video plays. So let's get on with our episode today. What I've got in front of me is a gorgeous Gulf Air L1011 model. This is a metal Verkyle model that was built by Verkyle for the airline in the 1970s and possibly the early 1980s. It's a one, I believe it's a one 150th scale model. It measures a little over one foot. This is a one foot ruler. So we're looking at 12, about 14 inches there uh, from nose to tail with a similar wingspan. I got this model from a fellow collector friend of mine. I bought it from him several years ago. Actually, it came from Anthony Lawler. I'd been looking for one of these models for quite some time. And they, they didn't do too many different liveries uh, of Verkyle I'm referring to on the TriStar back then. Gulf Air they made a large number of. And these are still quite hard to find. Uh, it is very accurate. It comes on the original Verkyle stand, metal stand, which was typical of the, um, of the models that Ver Verkyle pr produced back then. And as you can see, which I will show you here, the Verkyle sticker is on the underside of the rear stab. The model's weighing perhaps about a pound, a pound and a half. This particular example is pretty close to flawless mint condition. It's standard when airline models get to be 30 plus years old that some of the decals will start to have yellowing and for Kyle didn't actually cut out um, all the bits and pieces. He just ran a solid yellow or a solid decal all the way across and we have some yellowing as you can see, but I think that is unavoidable and it's visible if you look carefully. These models are very valuable. They're very collectible. I highly recommend them. I love Verkyle models. They're accurate, they're hard to find, and they're really classic pieces of the era. This model, probably in the three to $400 range, some collectors might pay more. Of course, I'm, I'm assuming that the model's in great condition. Models that have nicks and and very bad yellowing or missing stands, that's a completely different story. But this model is a real cute model. Uh, look, at, look at that. Look at the lines on that. It's actually very, very cool. And what else have, can I show you here? Yeah, you can see this says TriStar L1011. So that's indicating that the stand most likely was factory packed by Verkyle with the model. Uh, back in the day, which as I say is probably early 1980s, late 1970s. If you're interested in learning more about Verkyle's models, you might want to check out my book. I'm the author of the Aircraft Display Model Collector Investor and Appraisal Guide. It's a 160 page all color book on the values and manufacturers of these incredible models. You can check the book out on my website, henrytenby.com. So until the next issue, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, Regarding these models, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, always appreciate the thumbs up. If you can give me a thumbs up on the video, that would be great. And if you have any models like this, please share them in the comments. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next edition a week from today. Until then, happy collecting, have fun, and thanks for tuning in.